Hi everyone, it's Hannah from My STEM Kids here, and I'm going to talk to you today about our ball bearing catapult. Now at the end of this, we're going to end up with a fully adaptable 3D printed catapult. So, how do you build it? First thing you need to do is de-support it. Simply use pliers to break out the supports. There are also supports on these crossbar areas and down here as well. Once it's completely de-supported, it'll look like this. Look for the word front. It's on one end of the model. When you see that, you can take the lever arm, the basket piece, and you just slide it right in here with this part on the side that says front. That way, when you're shooting, you'll be aiming that direction. Slide in the ball bearings over the lever arm and into the circles here. Now these are just normal skateboard ball bearings, so they're really easy to come by. But once you snap them in place, you've got a nicely rotating lever arm. Then you set this piece here. This will be your stopping point, and we have different designated angles for that. For setup, set it at the 90, and then you set the other one back here as a backstop. So you're pulling back the catapult the exact same distance every time. Now to hold these all in place, you take the smaller rubber band and you loop it over them on both sides of the model. And now they're held in place, they're not going to go anywhere, it's really secure. But there's no power behind this, so you use the other rubber band to create power. This guy, slide in the, cer in the triangles at the back of the catapult all the way through from one end to the other and then loop it around onto the peg that's at the back of the catapult. So now we have to connect that to the lever arm. Simply grab the two long pieces that go all the way across. You can slide them down using the hole in the bottom of the catapult and then into the little notch right at the bottom of the lever arm. Now your catapult's completely ready to go. Set your angle of launch, choose a projectile, Set it in place, pull back, and let loose. This is a great kit because you can use it for measuring variation in center. You can also do bivariate data, create a scatter plot, look at, say, mass versus distance or angle versus distance, and compare those two variables. You can also then, in high school, look at quadratic functions. You can look at the minimum, the maximums, as well as the overall parabolic trajectory that the projectile makes. So while you're doing all of this, integrate physics in and talk about contact and non-contact forces, potential and kinetic energy, and just do a really great integrated STEM lesson.